Kehambe Camp is one of the oldest camps in Rwanda. Congolese refugees came there some even 20 years ago. It's in a beautiful location on the top of this mountain with these incredible views, but the camp is just very tattered and you can tell that the, these houses have been there for a long time. They're falling apart and there's nothing in these huts. When we would say, where, where are your things? And they would point, there would be a jerry can for water and a pot or two. They often cook outside, which makes sense because their houses are so tiny. But there was nothing there. There was nothing. She's a single mom living on her own with her baby and her family has already been sent to America and are doing well, which is fantastic, but I think she's very sad that she's been left behind. I think she doesn't understand why she's been left behind, which of course makes sense. I, I, it must be so confusing because the process that we use to resettle people, especially in America, obviously there are lots of checks and balances along the way. Are you wanting to leave to go and be resettled? They've been here about six weeks and they got to be reunited with their whole family, which is so exciting to see them all together and to see how happy they were and to see her parents and her siblings have been here a year already. So they've already started working and learning English and so happy and well, well adjusted to the change. I think the first thing she said was that she felt safe and you know, you don't really think about that. You take it for granted that you would feel safe in your surroundings. Obviously she really wants to work and her siblings are already there working, which I think sets a great example. The support here for the resettlement is incredible. The classes for English are set up, the classes to learn about how to get into the workforce are set up, and so you, give, you have great confidence because it's not like three months and then you're fine. It's more complex than that. They've been in a camp sometimes for 20 years, so it's a big, big change. What do you think is the biggest difference of living here than in the camp? You can see it's just a total life change. And she's, you know, so light and hopeful. And I think she's driven in a way to succeed and she's had to make do with very little and she's had her child with absolutely no support really. So to be able to see her here and you know, people really there to support her. I feel like she's propped up by her family in such a great, great way. So I feel very confident that she's going to do well here. <laughs>